Hello, now we will see how to create derived property and convert to the number size of elements as the result of the derived property. So we will create the right property for requirement, which will show how much the elements are which satisfy this requirement. We will go to the requirement specification, traceability, create, and we will, we will use a simple navigation to create the right property. Satisfy, and the direction is target to source. Now we need to use script to convert this result into the numeric value. So we will choose uh, an expert mode script in uh, JavaScript and we will pick this result system simple navigation as the argument for the script. So we will drag and drop. So this uh, this con creates the argument, in this case argument 2, right? And we will use this argument to convert argument two to convert to the number of elements as a result of this simple navigation. So this will create a number of elements, how much of those elements are satisfying this specific requirement. So now we can name the property. Okay, and the last step is to assign the property uh, type. So we need to go to the right properties group. If that group is not visible, we can go to filter, derive, derive property suit, check this, this was, will be visible, and then uh, go to the right property, just the one which you created, and set, set type. Type should be integer. And this should be not the CSML integer, but UML integer. That's all. So now the script should work. So let's save project. Let's reload the project. And let's show the column. Show column. Select column. Satisfied by number of elements. Okay. And here we have result. So next uh, step will be to create metric. And for metric, we need to create a profile, a profiling diagram. So we will create a metric package. And in that package, we will create a dedicated profiling diagram. We can find the diagram here profile diagram profile diagram and in that diagram we will uh, create our metric suit and then in here we will inherit from the base metric suit so to find base metric suit we can click control alt f and uh, search for the metric suit this will find the base metric suit here we see the ma base metric suit and it is uh, in auxiliary resources, so we need to show auxiliary resources, drag and drop the base metric suit, which gives us ability to inherit date, scope, and other parameters uh, which we need for our metric suit. And now we will create our own metric suit, will be requ requirements2. This will have some information about requirements in the, in the model. So let's create a metric. So we will choose metric definition. We will type uh, this as the integer. Again, uh, UML integer. And uh, we will choose uh, the t name of that metric. So this will be requirements. And we want to count the number of requirements in the model. This is the most simple case. And before specifying the logic, let's set the scope of the metric, so the target of the metric. So let's put that metric would apply for package list. And here is the package, close. So here you see the package should be the scope, the target of the metric. And now let's specify the logic. And the logic is specified in default value. 
and I will choose value specific packer expression and then we'll choose default value. Default value will be structured expression which will be as simple as possible so it will be find requirements and I will choose requirement in, and include all the subtypes and then uh, the scope and uh, I, need, I need to specify scope here otherwise metric will not work. That's all. Now I need to create a script which will convert this uh, uh, list of uh, num list of requirements into number of requirements. So now I created the script and it will take and uh, will drag and drop an argument. Now I can use this argument one size to convert it to the number of elements. It should work. Let's uh, close the specification. Let's close here and now let's save the project and now we can apply the metrics. To apply the metric let's go to the package with, with requirements or some other package which have the required data. Right click on the package, go to tools, metrics and new metrics table. We choose new metrics suit, just the one which we created. Here you see the name and now I can apply. And I will get results that I have 12 requirements in the model. So if I go to the model, I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And uh, here you can see some more, more difficult metrics. For example, requirements without grouping ones. So without um, the ones who group requirements. So in that case, I need to, to gather the requirements which are just the leaf ones. And this is done in this metric, uh, so we can check the logic. Logic is uh, again quite simple: script to recalculate the size to the number of, to the to calculate the list to the number of elements, and then we have exclude. We exclude from uh, all the requirements the ones who are the target of the owner property. So we list, we find all the requirements, and then we call, go through the meta chain to the owners and we exclude that list from the all total list of the requirements. So we are using exclude operation here. You can choose exclude operation for the script here. Another, uh, another um, uh, metric what you can see here is uh, to calculate the percentage of the coverage of the requirements with the design elements and this is calculated by calculating total list of requirements and then calculating the requirements which are covered and then uh, calculating percentage. So here you can see that this is percentage described, calculation described here and then add those two arguments are again using uh, structured expression are calculated from the model without any code. Okay, so now we can calculate this metric, that requirements metric, and see how the result looks like. Tools, metric, new requirements table. We'll choose this one. Okay. And here is results. So I have 20, I have total nine requirements without the ones which are grouping ones. I have two of them satisfied. And that's 22 uh, percent of total. So here are those two. Here are those nine without grouping ones, and uh, this is in total to, to two. If I will create new, add nested one requirement test. So the number should be 10, and the percentage should be lower. So now we can go here to that metric suit and calculate new metric. So here you can see the change.